You might think you can't create cool Magnates Media style videos like this, this, and this in CapCut. You think so, but you'd be wrong. Magnates Media is a master at making still images come alive. But we don't just want to copy what he did and bring some rich old ugly fat dude back to life. We want to make it way more fun. Yes, we do. Let's create the death of Instagram. <laughs> That sounds like a Magnates Media thing, doesn't it? Using Lensgo.ai, I created this image of an Instagram influencer. Lensgo.ai is free for the first few images you create, so you can create your own image, or you can use all of the images I use in this video linked below. We could just take this image as it is, drag it to the timeline, hit Shift Z so we see the whole thing down here in the timeline, jump over to Video Basic, hit Scale and Position, and move our playhead to the end of the timeline. We could drag it, or we could use the keystroke down arrow, and bam, it goes to the end of the timeline. We're gonna hit the left arrow to go back one frame so we can actually see that keyframe. And now we're just going to scale her up a little bit and bring her down a little bit, to the right a little bit. And you know now, I mean, she's, She's animated, but it's but it's boring. I'm so bored. The secret to bringing still images to life is to cut them up in little pieces like this and stack them on top of each other and animate them individually. That's how you make something really come alive. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. We're gonna get rid of the animation we've done so far because what we're gonna do is gonna be way more fun. Now let's make sure she's highlighted, she is. We're gonna jump up here into cutout and we're gonna hit auto cutout and it cut her out pretty quickly and it didn't do just her because there's more people and auto cutout only cuts out people. This actually can work, we don't necessarily need her only cut out to do this. And what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer. I'm gonna hold down the Option key on a Mac, the Control key on a PC, click and drag up. So now we have two layers. And I'm gonna bring the background layer back without her being cut out by clicking on it and unchecking Auto Cutout. And now we have two layers of her. One of them is just her. I'm gonna hide this track. One is just her and one is everything like that. So what we wanna do is animate them individually. And this is kind of our version one of this, we're gonna level this up. First, we're gonna set keyframes for scale and position for both of these layers. I'm gonna click on the bottom layer, go to Video Basic and click on Scale and Position. Keyframes here, remember a keyframe starts at the beginning or the end of a change in a property. These are the properties we're gonna change for both of these. And then we're going to click on the top layer and select Scale and Position. And we're going to scale her up more than the background. We want them to move at different rates so it seems more interesting. So I'm gonna scale our model up to, I don't know, 140% maybe. Drag her to the right a little bit so she's more centered. And then I'm going to scale with background to maybe 120% and drag it to the right so we kind of hide our little, our girl in the background there. And we're gonna see her a little bit, but that's gonna be, it'll be okay. And now we're gonna to go to the end of the time by hitting the down arrow key and then left to go back one frame. And we're gonna scale the background down to 100 by going up here and typing 100. So it's back to where it was. And we're gonna change the position back to zero and zero so it's centered. And we're gonna do the same thing for our Instagram model. Go down to 100 and go to zero and zero. And I'm going to click off of her so I don't get that white box around her. Drag it back to the beginning of the timeline and let's see what it looks like. I mean, that's kind of cool. You can see them moving at different rates. It's interesting. You can see her arm and things merging, so it's not perfect. So we're gonna make this better now. We're gonna delete what we have so far. To create a crowd without her in the foreground, I went into Photoshop and created this. It's not perfect, but it's not gonna matter because she's going to be covering it here. And to take it to like another level, I actually split it in two pieces, a bottom half like this and a top half like this so that I can animate them separately. Now you can do something similar in Photopia or Canva, which are both free. I just did it in Photoshop because that's what I'm more comfortable with. But let's go ahead and drag the bottom crowd in and grab, drag the top crowd in. What we're gonna do is make the crowd start big and get small over time. So I'm just going to click on it, set keyframes for position and scale and scale it up quite a bit here. And then I'm gonna to jump to the end of the timeline and have it scale back down to 100 and centered and that that's cool like that. Now for the top layer, we want it to do the opposite. We want it to start small and get big. So we'll start right there, 
set a keyframe for scale and position, go to the end of the timeline, back a frame, and then we're just gonna scale it up a little bit and then bring it down. And that'll create an effect something like this. Next, let's add our Instagram model to the scene and I cut her out for you in Photoshop. She's right here. And we want her to start small and get big. So we're gonna scale her down just a little bit, move her to the bottom of the screen. And now we'll set keyframes for scale, position, and rotate. And we're gonna rotate her to one side a little bit. Let's go down maybe three clicks to the left, three degrees to the left, and make sure the bottom of her torso is not disappearing there. Then we're gonna take her to the end of the timeline and we're going to change all those properties. We're gonna scale her up some and we're going to rotate her three degrees the other direction and position her up here a little bit. And now we have something that's a little more interesting than just moving the image all by itself. It's like, well, we got a lot going on. That's that's a lot cooler, right? Something else Magnix Media does is add a bunch of effects to make these still images more lively. Let's go ahead and jump over to effects. And I saved here in favorite some things that are pretty fun. Let's go ahead and add gold sparkles. And we'll make the sparkles last a duration of this clip. And I mean, that's cool, except they're on her. Let's just have them on the crowd, to have them on just the crowd and not her. We just drag them under the Instagram model and then bam, we have sparkles on the crowd behind her. But we want her to be special too, so let's add some maybe gold sequins. So we'll click here, drag this over, and you'll notice that some of these effects can be modified. So in this case, it has this filter for the gold sequins. I'm gonna drag it down because I don't want to change the color of the background just yet. And let's check the speed of it. Let's see if we like how, how quickly they're sparkling. They're kind of fast. It's gonna click on this effect again change the speed a little bit, slow it down, and stickers makes them go away completely. We're just gonna make them a little more subtle, and then we get this kind of look. Now this is supposed to be the, the death of Instagram. It's looking really happy. How do we make this more Magnates Media-esque? Well, here's something I showed you in the last video, so I'll just do it really quickly now. We can make the entire background have a red vibe to it. So we're gonna jump over to media, click on library and grab this red still image. We're gonna drag it on top. It would look like this. It's like, oh no, you can't see anything. We're gonna drag it down below our model and below the sparkles so the sparkles can still be gold. And we're gonna scale it up a little bit, jump over to opacity and change the blend mode to multiply and bam. Now the background looks like that. Starting to look more Magnates Media-ish, isn't it? I make this even darker. Let's go ahead and add another effect. Let's jump back into effects and choose Lightning Crack. And we'll put that in the background just above the red so the lightning doesn't turn red. And we'll make it last the whole duration and see if we like it. Okay, I don't like how it goes dark all the time. So I'm just gonna add maybe a couple instances of the Lightning Crack. So I'm gonna shorten it here. And then I'm gonna hold down the Option key or Alt on a, on a PC. And we'll just have a couple lightning cracks here. Crack and clean and crack. Bam, I love that. Next, let's add maybe a little bit of fog. Here's some fog. We're gonna put it over the red. So it'll contrast the red maybe. And that's, that's a lot of fog, but let's make it last the whole duration. And we can change the atmosphere. That'll decrease the opacity. So it's just a little, a little bit more subtle. So let's have a look. Fog, lightning, Instagram model. Still doesn't look like death yet. How do we make this look like the death of Instagram? Well, we could add some text. Let's go up here to text and choose default. Drag it to the top for now. And we're gonna say death of Instagram. We're gonna highlight it, change it to a different font. How about din condensed? And we'll just drag it up here. And we want it to be a little bigger. So we'll just scale it over like that. And we want it to be more interesting a la Magnates Media. So we're just gonna scroll down here and add a stroke. That's pretty intense. We need a little bit less stroke and we'll add a little bit of a glow. Let's go for the free one and intensity, just subtle like that range. That looks pretty good so far, right? She still doesn't look like death. So we're gonna fix that a little bit more. What if we could give her devil horns? Well, it turns out in CapCut, you can. We're gonna jump over here to Effects again, and we're gonna click on video effects, which closes that and opens up body effects and click on favorites. And oh, look at this, flaming horns. We're gonna position them right over her and we're just gonna drag it to fill the whole frame. And 
so we can see them. I want them to be the same color as the background, red like, you know, devil. And I'm gonna drag color over a little bit until they turn kind of red. And filters, I don't want it to take the background down so much like it does. So I'm gonna turn that down this way. I'm gonna adjust the strength all the way up, change the size, make them a little bit bigger. The speed, I'm gonna turn it down so it's more subtle. Vertically, they're positioned correctly on her head. And I'm noticing that I don't like death of Instagram over everything, I'm gonna drag it under her. Then when she gets bigger, you know, she'll partly cover that and her horns will cover that as well. So I like that. And she's still not deathy enough. So let's go ahead and give her flaming eyes. I'm gonna drop those directly on her. So it's not on a layer above her, it's just on her. I'm gonna modify the color there by dragging it over to the right a little bit so they're kind of red like everything else and adjust the filters. I don't want these to be modifying the rest of my image and strength, I want them a little more subtle, a little smaller, slower. And now we have something that looks like uh, this. That's, that's pretty cool, right? But wait, there's more. You may have noticed in some of Magnates Media's videos, the people he has that are still images are slowly moving, kind of creepy-like. Now, there's not really an easy way to do that in CapCut. But in After Effects, I, I did a little something for you. You're gonna be able to download if you want to play with this. It just makes it it makes it more fun. So we're just gonna we're just gonna jump back into media and we're gonna position our playhead at the beginning. We're going to click on our Instagram girl and we're just gonna drag instagirl.mov right on top of the still image. And notice that little icon here. I want you to take a good look at this. It's going to replace that still image with this, and it's gonna work well because the still image is five seconds and she's five seconds. So I'm just gonna let go. And now I'm going to use the original video effect. It's going to keep it there so I don't have to redo everything and I hit replace clip. This is how you replace a clip. I just replace a still image with a moving image. And now watch this. Watch her arms and her hair and stuff. Check this out. I'm gonna make it full frame again for you just for a second. She is moving, what? The last thing we need to do to make this complete is add a little bit of sound. Let's jump into audio, go to sound effects, and we're gonna click on drone. A drone is a sound that kind of goes in the background. Boom, see if any of these are good. Uh, I think I found one, let's try the damages drone. That's what we want. That's death of Instagram, right? So we're just going to position our plate at the beginning and hit the plus sign. And as I always do, I'm gonna trim the front so this starts much sooner, drag it over, and I'm gonna drag this little guy to the right so that it fades up a little bit in the beginning and isn't abrupt. And I'm gonna find a lightning sound effect. Let's try this guy. Sounds like lightning, let's drag this guy down there. We can actually time this, like I can see the lightning here. I can see where the crack is. And I'm gonna just position this guy so lightning strikes at the same time we see that. Let's add one more lightning. How about this guy? I'm gonna just hit plus, let's see where he lands. And I see that this guy has a big lightning strike here. So I'm going to drag this here and find this second lightning crack there. And it'll sound a little different than the first one. And I'm just gonna cut these guys, highlight all of them, hit command B on a Mac, control B on a PC, delete them. You wanna see it? I'm, I'm kinda curious how it turned out. Now we're gonna drag our playhead to the beginning of the timeline so we can watch this whole thing. And... You got a minute, that was, that was pretty cool, right? If you think it was cool, type cool Trev in the comments below for my self-esteem because that's, that's my only reward for doing this stuff. Just positive feedback from you guys. And if you wanna give yourself the gift of being a beast at CapCut, just go to mastercapcut.com or click on this link right here. This course will, it'll, it'll. It'll completely change your life, bro.